Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy that you guys are back and to also get notifications from when I put videos up, just make sure you hit the bell button. So let's get right into these videos. So today I wanted to talk about how I implement the religion for my toddler. My toddler is one year old and his name is Suhel. And so since he is still one, you know, and young and learning, and it's a total sponge because you know kids are sponges when they're small and i say that because um they repeat everything you do either they want to do um what their father does or what you do like that's just what they do and so one thing that i always do around to hell is i always pray around him even when he's just not paying attention and things like that i always just pray around him because He'll see, he'll visually see me doing it. Now, he is at, he is at the age where he wants to jump on me while I pray. I feel like we all go through that as parents when your kids want to use you as a playground, basically. And so that's what he do. He uses me as a playground. But I always pray around him. And um, I forgot when, when he was a bit smaller, he did, he did do subdued and I literally almost cried because I'm like, oh my goodness, like you literally just made such you. Like, oh, it was the most adorable thing ever. Like, and I was just like, you did that because you see me pray. So I'm going to continue praying around you. You know, like, I, I just think it's important to pray around kids. And then like, as they get older, they'll ask like, oh, what are you doing? Or um, if you are already not, or if you aren't already telling your kids about praying, you know, they'll be curious about what you're doing, but, you know, praying will come about when he's able to do that and things like that. Well, as he's a toddler, I also want to teach him about it. And then, um, so it could just be an easy process for him to understand and things like that. So another important thing that we also do, me and my husband, we, um, we read the Quran. I read the Quran to Suhel, like, at nighttime, I recite the three quotes. To him because that's something that we do before he goes to bed but even when he was still in the womb I would recite Quran play Quran out loud so he can hear it while he was still like you know wasn't born and stuff just you know in there living his best life so so I would still like play the Quran and then um I know eventually I want to pray I want to play it I want to play it like at nighttime just to calm him down and then once he's like fully asleep I'll turn it off because that's something that my mom did for us when we were younger. Like if we couldn't sleep, she would play the Quran. And then I believe that once like we were asleep, she would turn it off and things like that. Um, but yeah, it was really calming. Like once we heard the Quran play out loud, so uh, it was really calming and really put us to sleep. So yeah, I recite some of the three calls and um where else like even during nap times like sometimes I um play the Korean as well so yeah that I think it's always great to introduce the Korean to your children because that is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and speaking of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um I started doing where is Allah to him so I'll be like where is Allah and when I first taught him this I will put I will point up point up towards the sky and so I would ask him where is the law and then he will point up or he'll say up and he'll point up up and say up at the same time and so that's one way how I introduce that to him just learning about a law subhanahu and I know for sure like um when he gets a little older like maybe when he's able to talk and understand things a bit more I do want to introduce him to um, learning the nine nine names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his attributes and understanding them and things like that because I believe that's also important to just know the names of Allah, the beautiful names of Allah and like to have remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the next thing that I do is I read him Islamic books, Suhel's favorite book. And this is the, I can read the Quran almost anywhere. This is a part of the I can series. So I know the other one that I had also when I was younger was the, um, I can pray anywhere, I can pray anywhere. And so this one is just about, um, 
you being able to read the Quran anywhere, you know, except for the bathroom, of course, but like anywhere outside, in your house, in the car, you know, like pretty much anywhere you just pull out the Quran and read it. So I really like this one and this is his favorite. He always smiles when I read that book to him. And the next one is my first book about the Quran. And so it just has the teachings of the Quran and also um, basically um why Allah wants us to worship him and etc it's a great little book and I love the illustrations of the book I'm going to try to show you you guys the pictures like look at the cute little illustrations of the book I just love it and they're like um the sentences are short because right now we can't do like long stories I'll get into the long stories actually the next story him with the hippo there like the format of it is um pretty long like not this page but like some things are like long and so hell he'll just be like no uh, he'll he'll literally just wander off and be like this is a bit too long so with him the hippo i tried to read like one page or two page with him and so let me talk about him the hippo him the hippo is basically about a hippo named Himley and then all the animals can talk around him he can talk and they're all muslim and um basically it just talks about things that Himley learned that helped develop his character and then he also learns from his mistakes that he make and um, these characteristics are important for being Muslim so there it's really great like I have a couple of them over here the, one of them is um, Himley the Hippo learns to be grateful Himley the, Hippo, Himley the Hippo learns to not lie you know so about being truthful and things like that Okay, and the last one is the good night nice stories from the prophet, peace be upon him. Um, so this one that happened to um, our prophet and um, just like basic information about him as well. And you know, it's always important to learn about the prophet, peace be upon him. He was the best um, human ever on the planet. He had the best characteristic and he's our beloved prophet, peace be upon him. And so this one is long as well. Like him with the hippo, so I tried to do um, one or two pages. But yeah, so these are the books. And next, I want to talk about Islamic series. So Islamic series are, in other words, Islamic TV shows. So one TV show that he really watches is, um, what's well, not like a TV show? It's more of like, how can I say that? I guess like a program in a way. He watches it on YouTube, and it's called Zaki and Friends, and it's um, a part of the one for kids network I believe I'm going to list it in the description box and I'm also going to listen to the books in the description box as well but yeah so it's basically about um Zaki and who is a um what is Zaki? Zaki is a beer and he's purple to me he looks like an eggplant but he is completely adorable and his friends who are also animals and they also talk as well so it's like a moving picture and they teach the children about traits to learn as a Muslim, some also um, are about the Quran, Arabic, Sunnah of the Prophet, Du'as of the Prophet. They also have a series with the 99 Names of Allah that they do in one of their um, episodes that they do for the children. And it's a really, really, really beneficial kids network for them to watch and everything is safe, everything is kids friendly, you don't have to worry about anything being vulgar and stuff like that. So I really recommend um, Zaki and Friends. I love it. Suhel watches it like every day. Like he watches it every day and he really enjoys it. And another series, oh, this is on YouTube. And another series that's on YouTube is The Stories of the Prophets. And I also just enjoy him learning about stories of the prophets, not just about, not just about, um, Muhammad, peace be upon him, but our other prophets as well, Ibrahim, Adam, and ETC. Also, what I forgot to mention is that I, like, at night, um, well, I did mention this, but I also forgot to mention that um, after I recite the three quotes to him at nighttime, I also say the dua before he goes to sleep, and um, that's something that I want to make normal to him so as he get older, he can remember the dua for um, protection while he is asleep, and I think it's a great dua. I, I say it every night, and like um, as he ages up and gets older I want to introduce him to more duas as well because I think they're I think it's always important to learn the duas because this is something that the prophet peace be upon him practice and it is important to um to teach our children 
about the sunnah of the prophet peace be upon him it's like something small but i always try to um put his shoes on starting with the right foot put his clothes on starting with the right arm and um what else i'm um, trying to eat with the right hand so hell he eats with his left hand mostly but he writes with his right hand so right now we don't know if he's going to be left-handed or right-handed hopefully right-handed so it can make things a little bit easier but yeah so trying to get him to do things starting with the right this is probably like a sh it's, i think this video will be pretty short i believe it will be pretty short well i hope it's going to be pretty short but yeah this is just like small things that i do to implement the religion to my toddler and he's still one so i am going to make more videos about you know introducing some some things to our children because it because that is one of the rights of our children we have to cultivate them with this religion like we have to we're going to be questioned about it you know on the day of judgment so in the hereafter and that is very important always always try to cultivate your children with this religion and with the son of the prophet peace be upon him because it's important for them to learn at a young age because if you don't teach them nothing they're not going to learn anything about their religion so don't start too late start while they're young start while they're young literally even before they're born <laughs> like for example like i mentioned i read the quran when suha was still in my tummy like like that that is like you could just start like that baby steps you know but it's very very important to teach our children about our religion and inshallah i hope these little things help as well with the mommies out there, you know, with trying to introduce our religion to our children. So I will see you all in my next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.